my new video tutorial, Raw, Photoshop, Smart Objects, Basics for Nature Photographers is about to be released, but I want to give you just an idea of what this is all about. And I want to try to give it to you in five minutes or less. This is an image that I developed in Lightroom Raw, and ideally you want to develop it as best as you possibly can. Then you import it into Photoshop as a raw smart object. This image is not 16-bit and it is not 8-bit. This is not a JPEG, this is not a TIFF, this is not a PSD. It's not even a large Photoshop file. This is still raw. This little indication right here, smart object thumbnail. This is a copy of the raw file on top. And let me just give you one small example of how we can further our workflow in RAW, but in Photoshop. And there are many tools to be had so that you're working in lossless 32-bit as far as you possibly can before eventually converting to TIFF or PSD for an exquisite quality image. Much better than ever before. Top image. Quick selection tool. I've grabbed the sky, save the selection, it's now a channel, can always be accessed from here on out. Now watch this, throw a mask on there, white reveals, black conceals, white is revealing this raw photo black is concealing this raw photo revealing this raw photo and these are separate raw now how do i know they're raw double click we're in camera raw if you have photoshop camera raw comes along with it i can now make an adjustment to this sky let's say i move it a hint more toward magenta let's say this big bright area I throw a radial tool over. Then locally, I subdue it. I move it a little bit cooler. And I take down the highlights and maybe the overall exposure just a little bit. Hit OK. That is a raw adjustment through a mask, still remaining 32-bit raw in Photoshop. The awesome thing about Photoshop is that there are many things, about 30 to 40% of the things that you cannot do in any raw converter today that can bring your photo to more and more quality, whether you're a purist or you're creative in your processing. Let's go to the land. I feel like it's just a hair dark and it needs a little bit more punch. So I'm going to bring up the whites. See that land's getting more punch, getting brighter. So I'll bring it up to like 20 or 30. I also think it needs more middle tone contrast. I'm going to go to effects and dehaze. And I'm going to give it a little bit, one, two, three, four, five. That's a little bit middle tone contrast. We'll hit OK. If we don't like it, we can just go back to before we did it. So this was before, after, very subtle but less grayish, a little bit more crisp. So I'm fine tuning. If I wanted to desaturate and darken this back end of the land a little bit, no problem. If I wanted to get rid of this haloing going on back here, no problem. All done in raw, end of story. Then in the end, this can be a PSD, TIFF, JPEG, whatever you want it to be. But all of your adjusting has been in lossless 32-bit RAW instead of 16-bit or 8-bit or, God forbid, JPEGs. Check out my website at markmetternick.com for more highly acclaimed video tutorials and workshops. And be on the lookout for RAW Photoshop Smart Objects Basics for Nature Photographers. This is going to be a two-plus hour video tutorial helping you to understand all of the workflow things that you can do in RAW 32-bit in Photoshop. This is the future of post-processing. All the best to you and yours, and great light to you.